Scorpio, how's it going? It's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. So I have the Gilded Tarot deck in my hands. I'm going to do your September 2021 Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading. So these readings look at like limitless possibilities. They can also reveal any abund abundance blocks. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. Um, you know, just general overview of what could possibly happen in your house of money or your house of abundance. Keeping in mind that abundance, you know, wealth, health, love life, whatever, whatever it is that you would like a little bit or a lot more of. Um, let's see what could happen for you in September 2021. This is a general read for you, Scorpio, in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So keep that in mind, all right? Um, if you guys want a private reading, I do take a couple clients every weekend. Um, my email address is ariesfiretarot at gmail.com, okay? Um, I just take a couple clients just because I do so much free content, and I do also have um, a day job. So I'm a busy, busy girl. Plus, I have a DOG, so... <sighs> All right, guys, so you guys have been really linked to particularly Sagittarius in the past few months. It's like you guys are like bopping and weaving in through each other's lives. So it could be some sort of idea brought to you by a fire sign. I would say significantly Sagittarius. This could be really prevalent for you if you have Sagittarius in your birth chart somewhere. Um, I use a site called Cafe Astrology to figure out my birth chart, you know, just want to throw it out there if you guys want to use it. I'm not affiliated with it or anything. Um, <clears throat> so fresh ideas coming in when you see the Ace of Wands here and you guys are ready to grab it. Uh, let's see, a couple readings, you guys. Let's see your last one, Scorpio. I think you guys were done getting played not too long ago yeah you guys have been like releasing yourself from sort of not a great experience and like remain susceptible to that it's like somebody had a hold over top of you and even though they were released if it was a mutual or you kicked them out or they stormed out or whatever there was still some sort of an emotional um, tie that was binding, okay? So I really see how they were finally backing off. You know, they, they probably found somebody else to go play with. Leaving you open, your, your brain is open. You know, your mind has been set free and you're open to receiving new ideas from the universe now. You were probably getting this, uh, this idea for quite some time now. You ever see those memes where it says like your your spirit guide or your angel is just, you know, I, I'm trying so hard to get through <laughs> and they're just not getting it. So this could be you now where you could have got hints or nudges about something to do, you know, uh, move somewhere that would have a better chemistry for who you are and you would feel better. Um, new job. Some of you might want to buy a lottery ticket. I'm getting that impression. It might be a really good time for you to buy a lottery ticket, especially if you're not um, a gambler. Uh, it'd be your first time or something like that. So I see things like that where you're finally open to a new idea. And it could be a Leo or Aries, but probably a Sagittarius that is going to help you. Hey, hey, go for it. Like you guys are not shy, but... Um, something was holding you back and it could be that influence of the person that you are finally released from, that you have finally set free, that you don't care about their opinion anymore. They're not there to hold you down, okay? So uh, let's pull another card here for you, Scorpio. See, there's that end of that situation that I was talking about. We do have the Ten of Swords, okay? So this is like... <clears throat> I want to say this the right way because the words I'm getting is like it's all in your head and not the sense that you are imagining it because you were not imagining it. It's just everything that was in your head, like these endless cycles where I, I see somebody was being particularly shady with you guys, like making making you second guess yourself. Some of you could have been um, like over exercising or under eating or doing sort of, you know, 
things that you didn't want to do to sort of people please somebody that was very close to you. So um, <clears throat> that got into your head, okay? And their voice became your voice. And this is where you're able to um, grab onto new ideas because they're gone. And the Ten of Swords represents that that cycle is over. So you can basically breathe a sigh of relief now and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, the Ten of Swords looks very, very uncomfortable, but it just represents that that phase of your life where you're not feeling, you should just spit it out. You should just feel free. You should just feel free. That's what I'm trying to say here. Very interesting, guys. Okay, so we have the King of Wands. I just need to hold on for a second, you guys. I just had to turn my neck too much at that camera angle, so I just moved it over a little bit. So we did see <clears throat> potential Aries, Leo, most likely Sagittarius come in, okay? Finding your freedom here with the Ten of Swords. And then we get the King of Fire coming in, okay? So this is a very highly action-oriented person. They kind of want to sweep you up and move you along. They've probably been waiting for you to heal to the point where you're more receptive to doing things for yourself. I did see a strong sense of you guys being kind of in the clutches of somebody that was a gaslighter, okay? And they basically, I want to say they stole some of your spirit. Uh, they really just... The words I'm getting, like they kind of kept you captive in your own head, <clears throat> they're gone, okay? So now you should experience a, an epic sort of freedom and especially a financial freedom because I am looking at wealth and abundance for you guys. So new ideas coming in, uh, super almost a hyperactivity, like a flurry act of activity coming in. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to make the Ten of Swords stand over here by itself. Let's focus on these because these are the next steps of your life. And this is a start to finish cycle. Okay. So that it starts with the Ace and it ends with the King, right? So you're going to have this huge hustle and bustle, a flurry of activity in September. And from the beginning of the month to the end of the month, you might not even recognize what just happened. Like, you just go, wow, you know, that's crazy. I just, unbelievable how things just turned around. And it is because you've given yourself to free, the freedom to think for yourself, you know, that gaslighter is no longer there. Um, yeah. So wherever you start in the beginning of September, this is where you're going to end up with this beautiful serenity and this wild abundance with the nine of pentacles. This is like, this could really happen in such a short time span. Like this is going to blow your mind. It's certainly going to blow your neighbor's mind when you're able to drive up with a brand new vehicle of your choice. Um, let's pull another card. Yeah, so here you are. This is like feeling super independent, okay? And this could be a, like a horrible boss that you had. It could have been a partner, but there was that, just that voice that kept on coming in that made you doubt yourself and it, it's gone. And here you are now, you're standing like super strong with the strength card. And again, there's the representation of a fire sign. There's that Leo. It, it could actually be a community of fire signs coming in to help you. And if that's the case, you better hold on tight because they like to go at a really fast pace, okay? Um, but look at where they want to take you. Hey, we've got this really amazing idea. Do you want to join us, you know? Um, I see for some of you that you could actually just... Like somebody might say... I think this house is too big for me to live in by myself. You know, I've got this massive suite. It's, you know, it could be totally independent. And that would be really good for those of you that just split up with your gas lighter. Um, <clears throat> like it could be really like you could have your own entrance and stuff like that. Still maintain your independence. 
some massive opportunity coming in for you. Some huge benefactor of a fire sign. I want to pull one more card here for you guys, okay? Because it's really, really looking up. Very strong bonds and relationships taking place. Things that just weren't possible when you were sort of under the clutches of somebody that is so steeped in their own pain um, that all they could do was inflicted on other people. So you've removed yourself from that and the possibilities are endless right now. Endless, endless, endless. Infinity, I'm gonna go. 